Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. I am lucky enough this morning to talk to the masterminds behind the film Garfield. I have the director, Georgie Banks Davies, and the writer, Myra Apina, with me. How are you guys? Good, thank you. Good, very here. happy to be here. I, I know. Thanks for having us. I feel like you are happy to be here. Where are you guys coming from? Um, from London. All the way from London. All the way yeah. from London. <laughs> are you adjusted to the time change yet? Yeah, I think so. I think I've still got jet lag. <laughs> Somehow. Well, you don't. Somehow I have jet lag too, and I didn't even come from London. So that's, <laughs> that's just Sundance. From it's Sundance. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you guys for taking the longest flight to be here. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you guys being here. Let's talk about Garfield. Yeah. We have a clip to show you guys, but I feel like we should do a little background first. Sure. Yeah. So maybe, Mary, you could talk about, because you wrote the script, how it came about. Yeah, so it's basically the morning after the night before and two unlikely characters wake up next to each other. Um, and they seem very different on the surface. And then throughout the course of the morning, they kind of, uh, through push and pull and awkwardness and weirdness, find out that there's something else there. So is it a comedy? Um, it's hard to answer, actually. I yeah. think, you know, if, many people have asked us, is it a comedy, is it a drama? And really, it's just life. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's just, which is sometimes a little bit of everything. Yeah. So it is, for, you know, there are points where it's um, poignant, there's points where it's difficult, and there's points where it's really funny. You know, yeah. we have audiences who are really, laugh really loud, yeah. and, then, uh, and then in the next moment, like, ooh, where's it going? And yeah. so it's, it really is the best way to answer it, is just a slice of life. Sounds like more yeah. like an experience than anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, let's show you guys a clip. Let's take a look. That's just like a tiny snippet, but those are the two strangers. Yes. That wake up together. It's very out of context, <laughs> you know. That's the, end of, that's the end of the film, actually. Is so, it? Yeah. Well, it's, it's pretty funny. Was that a, a pig outfit and some heels? <laughs> yes. and shirtless? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, it's the Pink Panther. Yeah. Um, yeah. He, when we find our characters in the morning, um, he's wearing this outfit, um, Garfield. He's the lead, one of the lead characters. Yeah. Because he's been on a stag do, you know, bachelor party yeah. as we say here right so he's been on a bachelor party and he we find him woken dressed in this outfit and again it's just because it just is like you know it's yeah. all based on friends of ours and reality and things that we've known have well, experienced. I was gonna ask Myra well, how did you even come up with the storyline um, well these guys had the pink panther outfit <laughs> in their <laughs> wardrobe don't ask and um, I basically yeah kind of just through life experiences and stuff and uh, we always go to Carnival, which is a big um, party in London. And uh, that was one of the outfits that featured in Carnival. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, also, it's kind of like, you know, this sort of discovery of yourself, like when you're a certain age and you're going out and partying and uh, potentially waking up with people. <laughs> waking up with you sometimes. Yeah. yeah, and the kind of battles that you have with yourself as well about why you're there. and you know, trying to get close to someone, not being able to, and all of that stuff you're navigating. So there's a lot of subtext in there, which um, yeah. Georgie's been amazing at, like, has drawn out and made it into something like very personal and mm -hmm. about identity and um, trying to find yourself and stuff as well. So it's not just what it is on the surface kind of yeah. thing. Well, I love this. And this film has already been through a couple festivals. You yeah. guys have won some awards. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, we premiered um, in Palm Spring in June, um, which has kind of kicked off our festival run. And then, yeah, we've played really in the UK and America mostly. Yeah. It seems to be the place where the film really resonates. Mm -hmm. um, we. We won, we've been very lucky enough to win Best Director and Best Screenplay at a High festival. High five. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, yes. Uh, yeah. and, and Mandy, the wonderful Mandy Dillon, who plays Krishna in the film, won Best Actress in London recently wow. at a big yeah. festival. And uh, really, the, the, the heart and soul of the film in every single way is Mandy and Matthew, Matthew yeah. Trevanian, who are just the most incredible actors, and, mm. and they really bring this multifaceted thing that Myra was just talking to to life and mm. take it way beyond just kind of a moment and into something that feels so much bigger and so much complex. Mm. They're very, very different people and they're very different actors and they really, I mean, I, as a director, it's, it's like such a privilege to work with actors who yeah. bring, give so much in, mm. and uh, really bring characters into a massively yeah. free dimensional 360 world. Right. You know? Well, I love how you guys say that this is just life. I mean, yeah. This movie is just life, and that's yeah. just how it goes sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we really get very, very, very response. Some people mm. say to us, hey, it was like a really cute comedy, and other people say, I watched it through my hands, like I was just dreading <laughs> the whole yeah. experience, like what's going to happen, what's going to happen. Different and, experiences for everybody. And yeah. that's beautiful. Again, as a director, it's, that's 
the most exciting thing yeah. if you make a film and, <laughs> and the world sees it very differently. It's, right. it's yeah. brilliant. And the well, let's talk about, oh, go ahead, sorry. Yeah, like the cultural nuance is really interesting because it's very British sort of humour and it's set in quite specific locations in London that have very kind of uh, unique characteristics. Mm -hmm. So everyone interprets it quite differently. And we've had questions about, you know, what actual phrases mean and what words mean and stuff so that's been like super interesting to yeah. see how it translates mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah and different countries as well yeah well yeah. here at slam dance where is the film showing uh we're in we're in sundance sundance sorry that's about okay that. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay we, i've played in sundance it's amazing uh we're at sundance we're in um shorts program one mm -hmm. so we have another screening on saturday nice um yeah, yeah which is our final one yeah so Anyone watching, come along, we'll see how we <laughs> Well, Saturday here at Sundance in Park City, I'm so glad you guys flew out here to be with us today. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's it's such a it's privilege. Been amazing. It's such an honor to like, yeah. be accepted in the festival and to meet you guys as well and yeah. talk about the film. Well, I know this film, this is not the last stop. <laughs> it's going to keep going. It's not the no, last stop. No. <laughs> All right, well, Georgie, Myra, thank you so much for joining me this thank morning. You, thank, thank you, Kelly. Thank you. All right, guys, we're going to be wrapping up the show with one last interview right after this commercial break.